Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and you are watching Chemistry Lover. So in this video, I'll be talking about this problem which is from December 2016. Now CSIR NET exam uh, is just going to happen. So uh, I know you are preparing your topics. Now uh, I will try to upload videos on uh, some interesting problems because this time you need to revise your concepts and uh, there are a lot of problems from previous years that will help you in this preparation because uh, by solving this problem you will revise your concept at the same time these problems are slightly tricky so that will help you to think in the way uh, which will help you in the exam right so when you get a new question you can apply your chemical intuition so this is such a problem here you can see uh, so uh, this particular organometallic compound is reacting with this alkene and you are getting this product. So, these three products are given here and you have to identify what is A. These four options are given. So, this is a four marker question. Now, I can solve this problem very quickly without even knowing the mechanism. So, uh, the first time I uh, saw this mechanism, I didn't know the mechanism. But by looking at the products given I can easily predict what will be the A right uh, how can I do that so first I will tell uh, how I guessed the product and then I will discuss about the mechanism so you can see uh, these options are given now the first the second option which is given you can see this is showing that this is the product of reductive elimination of this complex and then uh, this alkene goes on to this uh, complex but you have to also take care about this HCC, HCD3. So if this is the reaction, you cannot explain the formation of this. So this option goes. Now we are left out with option for 3 and 4 and both shows somehow the hydrogen atoms of this alkene is replaced by deuterium. But this product is very much unlikely because you can see 4 hydrogen atoms are replaced by deuterium and here uh, it shows some metathesis type reaction if, uh, if uh, a metathesis reaction happens between this compound and another compound with all the uh, hydrogen deuterium substituted then we may get this product but these two options also looks unlikely so this option is the only option left now uh, this option is again appealing because you can see uh, let's say just we calculate the equivalence of the reagents given so you can see uh, let's say one of the cd3 goes with one of the hydrogen of this molecule so this hydrogen and this cd3 goes to form this uh, hc cd3 so we are left out with this fragment and with another cd3 so now if this cd3 connect with this fragment we will get this product so this product looks uh, most possible right and indeed this is the correct answer so what is the structure of a so the structure of a is this so option one is the correct answer now this i can tell just by looking into it within one minute but now what is the mechanism of the reaction so i thought about the mechanism of the reaction and i find out something so first thing you can see if we count the total electron in this particular molecule, we can see this cobalt has 9 electron. Uh, this is eta 5 complex. So, eta 5 will give you 5 electron and again I am counting the electron according to neutral atom model, not the oxidation state model, neutral atom model. So, eta 5 will give 5 electron, then uh, 1 PR3 group will give 2 electron and 2 CD3 uh, group will give another 2 electron. So, overall it is 18 electron. Now, if it is already a 18 electron complex, it cannot accommodate another ligand. So, if it has to accommodate this ligand, it has to first do something uh, in some way. It has to attain less than 18 electrons. And that it can do by flipping this eta, right? So, it can uh, show fractional behavior like this. So, now it can go to eta 3 mode. So it can go to eta 3 mode and you can see if it go to eta 3 mode you will have 16 electrons. Okay now if we count so cobalt 9 then PR3 2 and uh, these 2 is equal to 2 and this is 3 so uh, this 16 electron. So now it can accommodate this. Okay 
So now this alkene can come here, so it can accommodate and again it becomes 18 electron. After accommodation of this alkene, it, can, it becomes 18 electron. Now what can happen? You can see this beta migratory insertion can happen. So if this beta migratory insertion happens, you will get this. Now again it can go to eta 5 mode because uh, if it goes to eta 5 mode again it will be 18 electron but if it stay in eta 3 it will be 16 electron. So after this beta, beta migratory insertion it can go to the 18 electron mode. Now what can happen? You, you have hydrogen here. So this beta hydride elimination is very much probable and with this beta hydride elimination you will get so here you have PR3 you have CD3 and hydrogen and here you get this so this is your product so you get this product desired product so this is product A now how can we explain the formation of this and this so now what can happen from here is that so uh, these two groups can undergo the reductive elimination and if reductive elimination occurs you will get CD3H okay and now your complex becomes this PR3 where you have 9 plus 2 plus 5 that is uh, 16 electron so it can again accommodate one alkene so this alkene is accommodated here and it again becomes 18 electron complex so this is how this is formed this is this and this CD3H is this and this is your product so this is how without knowing uh, anything about the mechanism you can predict the mechanism uh, I am saying honestly that I didn't have any idea about the mechanism but I just look at the products and the reagents given and this is how I came up to this mechanism so you can do it same thing by yourself so there is no uh, need to think uh, no need for overthinking you just have to look into the reaction condition and product very carefully and you can easily uh, predict the mechanism of the reaction so that's how i think this problem solved the solved um, the solution of this problem the way i solved it will help you a lot uh, uh, in the thought process while you will solve any question so that's all and if you uh, want more videos like that subscribe my channel thank you for watching